It is thunderstorming this morning and our dogs are not having it. Morning, Richard. Is that you over there? Matey. Look, Diddy's hiding his face. You're not supposed to show us in bed yet. I'm not showing us in bed. I'm showing you and all these ding dong dogs. Matey, it's okay, girl. It's okay, girl. Diddy, are you scared of the rain, Diddy? Are you scared? Okay. Are you scared of the rain, Richard? <laughs> oh my gosh. Milton! <gasps> Getting all indecent. Okay, guys. I am trying. I mean, there's like a big hunk of ice. I'm trying to get some ice for my zip fizz. And I mean, there's like there is an iceberg in there, like that sunk the Titanic, man. It might have to come up from underneath. It feels like the ice like melted a little bit. It did, yeah. It's like it's melted and congealed yeah. around the motor. Well, here, get, give me some ice out of it before it all goes awry. Okay, guys, we found the culprit. It's this huge blob of ice Boy. that is. Yeah, it's like a it's like a yeah, tube of ice. Yeah. yeah, that's like uh oh, oh he got a hammer. Getting Look at my husband being all industrious. Seven thirty in the morning. That's yeah, what we do. Cause nothing can get in the way of me and my zip fish shake. <laughs> Look at my wife. Oh my god. Look at my wife trying to fix our ice machine. I have it from being frozen on top. Now I gotta get it from the from the undercarriage. Uh, so beautiful. Just a normal morning in the day in the life of autumn. You're right. Well, the weather. Ah. She right. Okay, so we just got the ice debacle finished, and to be honest, like it totally killed my vibe in terms of working out. So I don't even think I'm gonna work out now. I think I'm just gonna like jump straight into doing work. I mean, it'd be like that sometimes. I never realized I have so many like conditions that are necessary before I wanna work out. Like it's a, it's crazy that I even find those conditions from day to day. Like number one, has to be before 8 a.m., which I know technically that we are still in that, but we don't meet my second condition, which is has to be within like the first 15 minutes of me waking up or like my mood is just shot, you know? Uh, third condition, I can't have like done a lot already for the day. Like I can't have started something. Like if I start work or if I start a project, I will not want to stop it in order to work out. Which, that ice thing was just a project for me. Number four, I can't have anything on my stomach. Like it's a lot, you know? But like my vibe is shot. Maybe it'll come back later to be honest, I doubt it. But I've already exercised three days this week, and sometimes you have a three day week, sometimes you have a six and seven day week, like that's okay. What I'm really learning in this intuitive carnivore thing is that that can apply to like all other areas of your life. It doesn't have to be so rigid and routine, which don't get me wrong, I love a routine, so that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that like, I really have this guilt or like, anxiety associated with not following a routine or, or you know the thought of not following a routine well well I normally work out today if I don't work out today then what am I gonna do like just just like don't work out and it'll be fine you know I'm gonna spend my time working I'll still be productive and like maybe I won't have as big of a loss of tomorrow as I would have if I would have worked out that's okay I'll just work out tomorrow and there it is you know like the freedom of choice is exhilarating and it's also nerve-wracking but like I think I'm starting to handle it well enough to where like I can forego exercise today and still feel like I'm on the right track still feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing so I'm not zip fizz shaking it today like I'm not wasting a zip fizz uh, mm -hmm. if I'm not working out but I've been getting Mio lately and I really enjoy it this is blueberry lemonade I've never tried this flavor before so I figured I would try it with y'all Oh my god, it's a very dark blue. It's like, how is a beverage navy blue? <laughs> that is a very dark blue. Oh, oops, I didn't even count down. This isn't a real shake, you guys. It's okay. It's not a real shake. Okay. 
All right. I mean, that is a weird looking drink. That's like if somebody put a couple of drops of ink into a water. Mm. Oh, that is very interesting. I definitely get the tartness from the lemon. There's something else in there, which I'm thinking they want that to be the blueberry. I don't know if that's blueberry, but it's an interesting flavor. I'm not mad at it. Good morning, guys. I am getting an early start on meal prep because I actually went grocery shopping yesterday uh, just because we got to take Maddie to the vet today. So I uh, picked up this pork loin from Meyer. This thing was only $6. It's four pounds. So I mean, that's a really good deal, right? And I don't even know what to do with it. So I Googled a recipe about like crock pot pork loin uh, because really the only way I like pork is shredded, uh, like a pulled pork. But since I'm doing carnivore, I'm not really gonna like cover this in a barbecue sauce or anything like that. So it's just going to be a juicy, porky pork loin. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is cut it out of this package and put it in the crock pot. And then the recipe that I looked up online said to cover it in mustard and then like brown sugar, like, you know, keto friendly brown sugar and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna cover it in spicy mustard and then I'm going to use this pork barrel barbecue, uh, barbecue rub, basically. It is sugar-free and it is delicious. I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna put this, some, cover it with some spicy brown mustard. I'm gonna put some of this on here and then it said put a quarter cup of water and three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in it and then let it fire up. So that's what I'm gonna do. DJ when you like hold on tight to him but Milton does not like to stick his head out of the window at the at all Maddie loves having her head out the window okay you guys pork check oh yeah it's looking white and delicious I'm gonna see it's been in there for like five hours I'm gonna see if I can like shred it a little bit I'm a big fan of like pre-shredding and then continuing to let it cook in the crock pot for a long time so i'm gonna see if i can pre-shred it or if it's still like <laughs> raw in the middle we shall see but it looks and smells delicious at this point <laughs> okay guys this is what he does every time i say i'm about to take a shower or go to the bathroom <laughs> he hides behind the curtain like i won't see him <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay, this time. <laughs> Here my husband is, preparing my grilled meats for me. We got burgers with seasoning. And we got brats under there. Of course. Burgers, brats, and pork. Olive oil so I don't have to take it outside with me. I can just throw it on the grill until I need it next time. Mm-hmm. Look at you being all efficient. Minimizing your efforts. My husband in his favorite place. Uh, man in the grill. Oh my gosh. Yeah, basically. Just throwing these on. They look so good. Mmm. I love cooking meat for my baby. Oh my god. <laughs> 
<laughs> you love doing what? I love cooking meat for you. You love handling my meat? Yes, I do. <laughs> Gosh, look at that. That's burgers. And look at those brats. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I am so happy right now. All right guys, meal prep is done and I'm excited to show you. Okay, first of all, we have that crock pot pork. I have decided that I think the best way to eat it would be as like pork rind nachos. So I'm just going to, you know, get some pork rinds, put some of this on top, have some cheese, some sour cream, some aioli, just like make some simple nachos out of it. You can see I'm also having grilled meat, so I have hamburgers and brats, uh, and then just assorted cheese snacks. So I have moon cheese, cello wisps, I have some cheese for my burgers, and then I have some bacon for my burgers, and then also, oh, not pictured because I forgot, eggs. If I want eggs, I'll have some of those. My sweet treat for the day is gonna be this heavy whipping cream and this Jordan Skinny Syrup. This cookie dough has emerged as my favorite. It is really, really good. As I'm going into my final week of intuitive carnivore, I can say that I am really enjoying it. I'm gonna be carnivore next week, but I am gonna go back to tracking just to really hunker down for the final week of the month because I'm still committed to getting into the 160s for my weigh-in. And for me, that usually just only happens when I am keeping track of how much I eat. But I'm just so proud of myself I've grown leaps and bounds in terms of understanding the true meaning of listening to my body and not having so much anxiety around what I eat. It's just like, oh, do I want eggs today? Do I want bacon today? Like that's the one thing that I really enjoy about carnivore is that when you're eating whole foods like that, you don't have to measure as much. You don't have to worry as much about making every little thing count. It's like, oh, I'll just eat enough of this until I'm satisfied and you can still feel good. And like, that's good to know that I'm capable of doing that. And that's a good little tool to put in my toolbox. Like say I'm going on vacation or say I'm going to a restaurant with friends. I know that there are things that I can order that I can just eat as much of as I want and not have to feel like I'm restricting myself. So. That is something great that I've learned this month. Okay guys, that's it. I'm really excited to try that pork uh, like nacho situation that I'm gonna have. Stay tuned for my full day of eating to see how I put it all together. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly full days of eating, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, the occasional product review, recipe, crazy video with my family. Thanks so much for sticking around. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next week. Bam! Nailed it! I killed that! I'm a little scared. I mean, for the amount of meat I got, I got like four pounds of meat for $6. I mean, this is just plain amazing. Also, tastes just like chicken. I like your tank top as well. Thank you. I wore it yesterday. Oh, nice. <laughs> I don't know if that's something to brag about. Uh, <laughs>